Hi, I'm Shavas from Zlearner. In this video, I will show you how to install the two softwares which I discussed in the last video, which is Visual Studio Code Editor and the ResinoRx Interpreter. So let me just open my browser. So let me just type the first software name, which is Studio Code Download. So if you click this one, you can click the first link here. So you get different flavors of the software depending on the operating system. I am downloading the 64-bit one from the Windows PC. So once you click this link, it will get start downloading. Since I already downloaded it, so I am just skipping this step. So let me just go ahead and download our next software which is Reginorex Interpreter. Let me just click this first link here. You can go to that download section, and here you can go to this Regina Rex folder, and you will have the latest version as 3.9.1. And here you can download the one with your operating system. I'm downloading the 64-bit exe file from a windows operating system so once you click this one it will take some few seconds to download yeah it looks like i don't read the software as well so i'm just skipping this step so let me just open the two softwares which i just now downloaded these are the two softwares so let me just Install the first software Reginorex interpreter. I'll just click the agree next step next next and here you just check all these extensions to be supported for the Rex next install. So once it's done, it is complete. So we are done with the Reginorex interpreter. So let me just install the other software, Visual Studio Code. Next, accept, next, next, we create a desktop icon. Next, install, just click this finish and I'm launching the Visual Studio Code editor. Let me just click this finish screen here. So once you launch the Visual Studio Code Editor, uh, this is how it looks like for the first time. So you might not have uh, this terminal here. So if you did not see this terminal here, what you can do is you can go to this view here and you can go to this terminal here. So I have removed this one. Let me just open the terminal again. So I have opened the terminal. So there is another customization available for this terminal. You can have it move to the bottom, which is down below, or you can move to the right. So I will keep it at the right so that our code can be shown here and our uh, Rex output will be shown here. So since we installed our Rex, let me just verify whether it's installed properly or not. So for that, I will just type the command Rex hyphen version so you can you can see some information regina rex 3.9.1 so it is installed properly so if you're not getting this particular message so there is something wrong uh, you can just uh, uh, replay this video and uh, reinstall the software again so i will just open a new file here so open a new file and just close this one this is our untitled file so here there is an option to select language mode so once you click this one you will see different types of languages available for selection so for us it is rex right so i will just click rex uh, in your case if you are not able to see rex language here in this um, selections you can go to this tab called extensions under extensions you can just search for rex so you will get this particular extension so 
once you click this one you will get an option to install since i already installed it it is not showing me the option so i will go to the our previous file so i will just select the language as rex so i will just type rex so we just select this one now we have selected the rex let me just write a sample program i will just start my rex program with a comment this is hello world so this is just a simple instruction to display hello world to our output console so let me just run this particular program before that let me save this program so i will just save it in c drive let me just create a folder rex programs just save this first as program 0 so this is our program 0 so i have saved this one now you can see it is saved as dot zrx file which denotes it is our rex file so to execute this particular program we need to go to our terminal window here and we need to go to that particular directory where this program is saved so it is saved under c drive so let me just go back so if you press cddd so we are in c drive so let me just change our directory to rex probes so it got changed so let me just do a list of what are the files available in this one by using dir command so you can see our program 0.zrx file is available here so let me just run this one to run a particular rex program what you will type is rex space followed by the program name here in our case program 0.zrx so once you and press enter so you get displayed hello world so this is how our rex program will run in visual studio code editor so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video